five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Live from Harlem, New York. Hey, everybody, this is Alex Bennett. This is The Ramble. We go from now until midnight Eastern Time. And a good evening to all of you. I'm glad you're all here. Look at me. I'm wearing a sweater tonight. It makes my face look more pale, though. That's the problem. I guess I, guess I probably should wear something that's not as is yeah well anyway hi how are you what's happening uh listen uh i think that uh it would be a good time for us to uh, check in as we do once every couple of weeks with uh, an ex-wife ladies and gentlemen that smiling face you see there is uh, my uh, it's my uh, ex-wife it's ronnie bennett hello ronnie Hello, Alex. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. Have you celebrated? No, I'm going out to dinner right after we're through with this. A little birthday dinner. You know. A what dinner? A birthday dinner. Birthday dinner. Yeah. What is it? At, at a restaurant. Are you going somewhere special? Yeah, we're going to Lydia Bastianich's place, and she's uh, she has her. We love her restaurants. Okay, they're just okay. very good. Anyway, all so, right. And I'm wearing my ninth made 1939 uh, uh, t-shirt uh, 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 cap here. I'm out of it today. So, which birthday is this? You don't know. This is the big one. Eight. eight, zero. eight oh, zero. right. Eight zero. Sorry, I'm a little slow this afternoon. 1939. 1989. Yes, yes, you know, it's been a busy morning. I'm a little slow. Oh, okay. All right. What have you been doing that's been keeping you oh, so busy? Oh, just a bunch of stuff around the house, a bunch of blog stuff, and a bunch of... I had to go down to OHSU because I have a port in my chest where they... <laughs> put liquids in me or take out blood and it has to be flushed every week every month if i'm not using it which i'm not these days much yeah. um otherwise terrible things happen i guess so you know it was an hour round trip for a five minute procedure <laughs> you, you know what it it it, it, it. I, it's suddenly hitting me because i'm talking to you and i'm going through something myself that it, it's just all these little things that they do to you to keep you up to date. I mean, they have, you're talking about having a port. It's sort of like a computer, isn't it? Well, They've well, got to update us every once well, in a while. Well, well, I was thinking you've got a port. What is it, a USB connector? Or is it Ethernet? You know? <laughs> yeah, they do. They just update me once in a while. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly, but if it's from Microsoft, they if it's well, if it's Apple, they update it every other day. That's the problem. You know. Do you know that you and I, mm -hmm. this, is, this is your birthday, and we'll talk about such things. Yeah. Is that as desperately old as we are nowadays? You're now eighty. I'm still seventy-eight. Um, we've known each other for about sixty of those years. You know, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I met you when I was about 18, 19. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're probably my, I'm trying to think about it. I think you're my oldest living friend. <laughs> really, I'm serious. I, I had a friend, Roy Trumbull. Do you remember Roy Trumbull yeah, at all? Yeah, I do. And, and Roy died a couple of years ago. And he was like my, my high school friend, you know. Who was the guy who lived in Boston who came to see us in New York once? Oh, God. Who was that? Uh, I don't remember. You got to refresh my... He's a friend of yours who lived in Boston, though, but I think you'd known him from school in California. Really? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember Look, his name right now. one other guy, but I don't talk to him that often, who I did go to, uh, was with in high school. But you're the only one I talk to on a regular basis. <laughs> I don't know anybody that I've known as long as you. 
I don't know what that means. I'm just saying it. Well, that that's your bad luck. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're coming toward the end of the year. Yeah. And I um. I, I published a blog post today about uh, resolutions for the new year, which I don't do, mm -hmm. um, but that, you know, given my predicament <laughs> of cancer and COPD, you know, I feel good. But who knows with these two things? What's by going the to way, get by, by, by the way, we've got a bet going on here. I've got uh, I've been taking good odds on this thing. Which will get you first, the COPD or the cancer? Ah, right? uh, thanks a lot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying. Well, I mean, either might, but I'm feeling good, so we're not going to think about that right now. Um, I figure I'm going to drop I wanted dead before to, that. Given, given my predicament, yeah. Um, you know that, that yeah, neither, both of which, either of which can take my life away. Uh, instead of resolutions, because I, I was thinking about, I don't think resolutions work for when you're this old oh, oh, <laughs> you know? you, you've done pretty much how much self-improvement can i do i don't really care anymore well, I, I am what i am yeah. but um i th i was thinking that i want to be sure i really i used to want to live long enough to hear the Mueller report now <laughs> i want to i'll get I'm, I'm pretty sure unless a car hits me that i'll get through this impeachment thing but I want to see the election in November because with or without Trump, you know, whether he, whether yeah. that some miracle happens and they remove him from office or not, and he continues, that's going to be the most momentous election of our lives, that yours and my long lives. Maybe, and I, I, I hate to say this, but maybe ever in the history of the United States. Because I think no, we should, I don't know that we I don't even need to go there. Well, no, but I, what I'm saying is I think more more well, is dependent. Well, we don't. We weren't there, and you and I are not history buffs, so we don't know what went on in old elections way back. Um, and I don't think that's important to make that comparison. Yeah. It's just, you know, for people that are coming up like you and me, you know, if we live long enough, we're coming up on a hundred years. I have two friends in their nineties who are coming up on a hundred years. And certainly in our lifetime, nothing has so, ne never has so much been riding on an election as this one. I, I agree with you on that. Absolutely. And I want to be there. I want to see what happens. After that, everybody younger than I has to deal with it. But, um, but I want to see what happens. Well, if he, re if he gets reelected, the good news is you'll want to die. <laughs> That's just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> just terrible. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and it's going to be, I don't, after even, I guess, after the vote today, um, we're going to see some interesting responses from the president. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I was mentioning this to somebody on another call today, and it's true that I am watching a, a thing on the universe uh, it it talks about Mars a billion years ago, mm -hmm. four four billion. Yeah, four, excuse, me. Things in perspective, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I I got it wrong. Four billion years ago. Okay. And and so that amounts to us just being this tiny speck in time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even if we live to be a hundred, we're going to be an insignificant little speck in time. And everybody on this planet right now is just an insignificant speck in time. And I wish Donald Trump realized that, you know, oh. that he that he's not this. OK, you know what I'm saying? Well, there's no point in going there, though, because it won't happen. You know. Yeah. Well, I'm a speck. I don't know how this happened to us. I mean, you there were I think especially if you live in New York. Or anybody who has done that for any, in the last 30, 40 years, understood who Donald Trump was. You know, I mean, he showed up in the tabloids. Um, I don't know, with some new girlfriend now and then. I mean, you know, and on Howard Stern, He's, he showed up on a Howard Stern show a lot. Um, but he was always a, a kind of laughing star. I mean, yes. It wasn't anybody you took seriously. Yes, yes. right. Right, but America voted for a laughing stock, and what does that say about America? 
Well, that bothers me a lot that there's that solid 40% behind Trump that never, ever wavers. And how could there 40% of the population of the United States thinks this is the right kind of president for a country? Well, you know, you had that kind of support. I'll tell you, a part of that support comes from his the fact that he was on TV. Okay. And but it he, hasn't wavered in you know, three years. But if you Wait. think if you think about Ronald Reagan, a lot of it had to do because he was a movie star. Well, you know, yeah, but at least he could behave in public. You know. Yeah. Uh, it's just, uh, I, I, and he 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 respected he respected people who were what do we call them profession. Okay, we mm -hmm. could let her come in. Well, well, uh, she she would. Uh, I, I've told her when we're talking not to come in. You know. So, yeah. <laughs> you want me to shout out the door and have her come in? Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, I mean, he understood that there were professionals in the government business, and he worked with them. Yeah. You may, you may or may not have liked his politics. Yeah. But he behaved like a grown-up president. Yeah, yeah, he was he was a grown-up. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, and now we don't have a grown-up in the White House. Yeah. And uh, Gee, let me ask you a question: How bad does Nixon look now? Oh, that you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, my, there was my, somebody on TV this morning. Yeah. Oh, it must have been Chris. What's his last name? That's on MSNBC. The white-haired guy in the evening. Oh, uh, yeah, Chris Matthews. Matthews. Yeah. That's what I couldn't remember. And he said that he had covered all three of the impeachments that we've had in our lifetime. Wow. And I hadn't realized there, I hadn't really thought about it, mm -hmm. but there were three. Yeah. There was Nixon mm -hmm. and Clinton and now Trump. Right. Um, I, and I somehow I I only thought there were two, and that well, Andrew they're Johnson. All, no, they're all they're defer. only they're only two because they never got around to the impeachment hearings or the impeachment proceedings on Nixon because he he because resigned. He resigned. Yeah. yeah, yeah, But I hadn't I just hadn't put much thought to that. Yeah. Any at any rate, I want to live till november 4 and see, or long enough to see the outcome if it takes a long counting procedure when we get there i want to know what choice america makes next next november yeah yeah uh that would that would be fascinating i just don't think i don't know i mean i uh, my my wife who you just saw a few moments ago uh she's constantly saying to me he's going to win trump's going to win re-election I don't think it's out of the question. Well, I don't think it's out of the question either because I don't think the Democrats have come up with anybody. You know? I mm -hmm. mean, there's, there's no, nobody in the party who engenders the kind of groundswell from people going, I like that guy, you know? I, I think he's great. You know, that's really interesting. I've been saying that for a while. I put it in a little bit different way, but I think we're meaning the same thing is that there's no one on the Democratic side who inspires me. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Biden? Nah. Uh, Elizabeth Warren? Yeah, she's smart, but don't care about her. Uh, and and, and uh, Bernie? Bernie, uh, old heart attack Bernie, uh, he, with the, after the heart attack, nobody wants a president who could keel over to any moment. That doesn't seem to moment. be so in the, in the polls. Yeah, well, all I'm saying is I don't think I don't think Bernie would make a very good president. I think he's a good senator. I think he's got some good ideas. I don't think he'd be a very good president. You so, know, I will vote for whatever Democrat they put up. Yeah, I mean, they could put, they could put up. They could, <laughs> Unless there's somebody they haven't brought they, along they, yet they, that is too objectionable, any one of them will do for me. They could put up Daffy Duck, and I would vote for him on the Democratic Party. But, you know, it's just, it's, uh, I, I just don't know what, uh, what uh, you know, uh, Buttigieg, the one thing about Buttigieg I like is that he is so different from Trump that there is a definite, you know, there's an age difference, there's a looks difference, he's a good-looking guy, 
Uh, he's uh, religious. He's uh, he's got a, if you tick off all the things you would want for a president, Buttigieg kind of fits those. I mean, military three t- three tours. Uh, went went uh, you know uh, uh, what he graduated from? Um, I think Yale, right? Was it Yale or Harvard? I can't remember one or the other. Too many Democrats but for top me to of go his class. Out their I mean, he's got everything over Donald Trump, who is actually just the dumb goofus. That's about it, you know. Um, plus, he 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 uh, side by side with Trump. Trump looks fat and dumpy, and Buttigieg looks well, like he's ready for that, business. I'm not. I'm not interested in their looks, fat or skinny, you know, and. Um, that that doesn't have any bearing on who I would vote for. Uh, not if, who but. you would vote for, but I do think that cos we've argued this before that cosmetics are very important because we're dealing in an age of television. But, but nobody seems to care about him. He got elected. <laughs> we're living in an age of television and and uh, uh, social media and so on, and you need somebody who who looks good in those venues. Just like, you know, with Lincoln, you need somebody to look good from the back of a train. Uh, it, 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 the, the venues for president, I claim FDR won because his voice sounded great on radio. Could be. You I know. don't know. I just don't, I don't think that you're going to have to just live with what I'm Kennedy, about to say. Kennedy. I don't think that yeah. that is a proper way to make a choice. No, so, it's not a so. proper way to make a choice, but the medium of the day tends to dictate what kind of candidate you have to have. Kennedy was our first television president. Can, can we talk about something else? I can't sure. tell you how much this bores me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, go ahead. Change the subject. Do whatever you want to do. No, I just I don't care about their looks. It's not, <laughs> we're at the brink of oblivion, <laughs> yeah. and you're talking about good looks. <laughs> okay. Well. I want to know... Yeah. What do you, if you have any resolutions or thoughts or things you want or will do in the new year? Well, I never made resolutions ever. Uh, and part of the reason was because obviously you're going to break them, you know. Uh, and people who don't make them, you're also smug, you know. <laughs> Well, making a resolution says that you necessarily did something wrong and you no, want to correct that behavior. No, it says there's something about your life you would like to be different. Oh, okay. Um, I want to be a Hollywood movie star this year. That's my oh, resolution. I don't know. I don't have any resolution. What You wrote about it. At my age, making a resolution is, you know... It can be other things. Like mine is just I want to... See if I can hope to live long enough to see the next election. Okay, let me see. What's what's my resolution? For I mean, the if there's year? nothing there, that's not a resolution. That's just something you want in the new year. It's something I want in the new year. Oh, boy. Um, oh, I don't know. I, d- I don't have anything. I really don't. Well, then that's good. You're very happy then. No, I've never been very happy. You know that. <laughs> 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 you know, actually, I am, am I, I have been a little more positive lately, and it has a lot to do with my physical condition that's going on, and it, it's made me more. Uh, for instance, I say, why did it? Why do I have prostate cancer? And the answer to that is because you're 80 years old. No, it, it's because why don't you have it? Well, well, when you're no, 80, why not you? When you're 80. Your chances are very high you're going to have prostate cancer, whether it's a heavy case or a low case. I've got a medium case. But the point is that I then had the sudden feeling that, well, the reason I've got it is because I'm 80 years old. That's the good news. I'm 80 years old. I could have died at 75 <laughs> and never had prostate cancer. You know what I'm saying? Are you going to have a cake with 80 candles? No, we don't want to cause a fire. <laughs> you're right that's a big deal birthday it well it is a big deal birthday yeah I, you know because i when i was younger and i you know i always loved thinking about the future and the you know flying cars and things that we would have and um uh none of those came to pass by the way what i didn't don't have and i was hoping for and i was told i was going to have is a household butler 
Okay. A household but, what? Butler or maid. Uh, Many who, people have those. Well, they're Roombas and things like that, but we don't have, I thought it was going to be a robot, you know, wearing an apron, you know, like on the, on, on the Jetsons. But anyway, didn't have that. Uh, but uh, I wanted to live long enough to see the future, and I said, you know, 2000's a long way away. I don't know if I'm going to live to be 70. Who knows if I'm going to live to be 70. Isn't that funny? When I was young, I would guess, you know, teens, 20s, yeah. and I thought about that, that some people live to be that long. I would have been, what was I in? In 2000, I was, I'm 79, I'm 78, 68, 58. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that was... I thought I did. I didn't think I necessarily would live that long, even though I knew plenty of people did, but that a lot of people died by that age, which wasn't true. I just thought so. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't think I didn't think I would live to see this. Okay, I, I, I if somebody said two, 2020, I would go. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make it till then. I hope I do. I hope I can see what the world's like. And by the way, now that I see what the world's like. I'm not that, ex it doesn't make me feel that good about, you know, the change changes, changes everything, doesn't it? Climate, I mean, it, climate it, change. You don't but, have to ask the questions, but, of course. But it also, does. the promise of technology uh, is not that good either when you consider things like uh, uh, identity theft and things like that, all the things that go on. And by the way, all the things that break down, you know, I spend most of my time servicing this network by fixing computers that break down or programs that aren't working anymore. Oh, you know, I've had a con... Yeah. I, I was just complaining to someone on the phone about an hour ago that today, when he called, I didn't answer the phone because my cell phone didn't ring. And sometimes it no longer rings, but it, I have no idea which phone... You know, if it doesn't yeah. ring, I don't know I've got a yeah. phone call. And then <clears throat> I had, as I told you, I had to go to this quickie appointment at the medical center and a little thing on my screen popped up um, after I got home to tell me I had an appointment there in an hour. Mm -hmm. I had I had made that happen on purpose. I yeah. had a reminder pop up. Yeah. But it didn't happen till I got home. <laughs> so all my technology is going to hell. Yeah, well, I had all my technology go to hell while uh, a couple of days ago. And one of the things that went is I actually put in something here where I could say uh, uh, Echo, turn on the studio, and it would turn on this light over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. all that went to hell because, <laughs> the, because Fios decided they were going to change my Wi-Fi setup. And now it won't work because these things only work on like a 2.4 megahertz and it, please it, don't do the details. It, rec I can't it recommends the five. I mean, it's just that I, I liked it when I had to just go over and turn on the switch. You know, that's it. You know, as I was just discussing with someone, yeah. I don't. I think it was Barry Diller. Yeah. Hello. Wait, I'm trying to turn down something. This was I was hearing some sound. <laughs> yeah. I think it was Barry Diller many years ago, probably in the mid or late um, 1990s. Uh, he'd been head of big Hollywood studio and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't anymore. And he'd spent a year, he wrote this article, he'd spent a year studying technology, personal computers, because they were brand new then. Not all that many of us had home computers. And because of who he was, he was able to hang out with Bill Gates and yeah. what's the Oracle guy and yeah. Steve yeah. Jobs and all those people. And he wrote this article about what he discovered. And his conclusion was... This is going to be a wonderful thing for everybody some way, but it won't do us any good until it works as easily as a light switch. Well, and <laughs> and that's he's true. Right. He's right, and it still doesn't work as easily and as no, a light switch. And, no, and, and then they go around deciding they're going to change something you're using, like they change Skype or whatever, and they go to a worse version. Yeah. They always upgrade it to a worse version. Oh, well, this looks great because somebody... Uh, who's in their technical department is like jerking off at the latest thing that he created for the, for Skype, and it just makes it worse, not better for me and for you. But he doesn't care about him. He's a technological guy. He thinks it's whiz bang. Yeah. You know? Well, I'm waiting for it to be as easy as a light switch. Yeah. Maybe that'll happen in the next year. <laughs> so did you say you had something else you wanted to talk about too? 
or have you covered all your all your ticked off? Well, all just, your, there's one oh. thing I just wanted to tell you. Yeah. Um, is that the last evening or this morning? I must have been this morning. I was looking at your show oh. on Gabnet. Yeah. And you have the most wonderful New York City opening. Ah. Oh. God, do I love that. Uh, yeah, I, I do, too. It over and over and over yeah. again. It was just beautiful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, that's that's fairly new because I suddenly discovered that I could do it, you know, uh, and, and play it on the show as an opening. And so I it's use it. It's just yeah. wonderful. It just, it made, it almost, it brought tears to my eyes. I wanted to be living back there again. Well, I do that every day. Unfortunately, I the rest of the show doesn't live up to the opening. So, you know. Well, I was only, I mean, I got to the end of it and then I backed up and started again and did it several times. It's, mm. it's not only, I mean, it's just wonderful New York pictures video, but it um, you, you did a beautiful job of putting it together. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's all you know footage I buy, but it it uh, it looks great. I love I mean I love the opening. After that, the show sucks. <laughs> you know, it's got a, it promises a lot with the opening. <laughs> you know, you expect some guy to get come out in front of a curtain, go hi everybody, how are ya? You know. <laughs> here's Johnny. Here's Alex. Yeah, instead you got a guy sitting in front of his his book, his DVDs, you know. But uh, DVDs anyway. are kind of old fashioned now, you know. I know. I I put most of them on my computer and. <gasps> You've gone through one by one and. Well, I, 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 there, there used to be a lot more, but uh, I put, I've done about I guess a couple, several, many hundreds of. DVDs on new <laughs> files because they preserve better that way and they don't take up as much space, you know. But the, but the time involved with the transfer is what I'm thinking. I of. just can't believe I bought all these damn things. Think of all the money I'd have today if I hadn't bought these DVDs. You used to do the same thing with record albums. No, CDs. CDs. Well, yeah, but I got them for free from record companies, you may remember. You know, so what the hell? Anyway, so we're all Takakas. Is that what this is? Is that the sum total of what we just talked about? It's being old is a wonderful thing. I mean, you could be dead. Well, that's not exactly a consolation for being old. Hey, you could be dead. <laughs> I'll tell okay. you, you want to know the bad thing about being old? You could mm -hmm. be young. <laughs> it's, why do? Why are people? It's it's the normal. America is just so screwed up. The eight, the whole bunch of life is that up until forty, you're yeah. a wonderful person, and after forty, we just don't pay any attention well, you, to you, you anymore. And it's gotten yeah. younger and younger and younger. And worse, all the people have adopted that attitude of "Oh, I'm old. It's terrible." Well, we're running a little bit over here, but I want to ask you a question. Would you want to be a kid growing up today? No. Because what it, what, what it it's got to be a struggle. It's got to you know, be a I real was, struggle. We were, I was discussing this with a few people yesterday of what our lives were like when we were little kids and for little kids now. And one who's got grandchildren who have children, mm -hmm. she said they can't ever let the kids go out to play alone. They always have to go to the park. Yes, the yes. My, That's my, unsafe it's become. My, or at least they think it's that unsafe. I don't know which it is. My parents said to me, just be home before dark. Yeah, same thing with me. And I went out and I'm like 10 years old. I'm out wandering around. I used to go to the movie theater, which was a mile away, all by myself, you know. Uh, and uh, we, oh, and by you the, know what? We would send us out to play in the good weather. And you could tell it was dinner time. Yeah. It was pretty soon every mother in the yeah. neighborhood was out yelling their kids' names to come home. <laughs> and by the way, nobody, when we were younger, put little plugs on the light sockets, on the electric sockets, so we wouldn't put our finger in there. They allowed us to put our finger in there because once we did it once, we never did it again. I don't think the finger matters. I think the problem was putting something metal in there. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I mean, uh, uh, kids are so overly protected today. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's overly. I mean, I'm not a mother. I don't know, but um, but that. Yes, you are. Children. Yes, you are. Well, <laughs> I did not raise any children, okay. and what um, and what they were talking about is is contemporary mothers now don't feel good about letting their kids right. go out to play alone. They don't do it. 
I don't know if that's overprotective or if that's a real threat. I have no idea. But whatever the result is, the kid, you know, if mom's busy, the kid is stuck in the house. I mean, what's this shit with play dates? When I was a kid, I went over to my friend's house and knocked on the door. What's with play dates? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, you know what's interesting? I, I, I wonder. Yeah. In pan, before us. Yeah. Um, I wonder if there were as many changes in a lifetime, culturally, socially, every other way too, as there have been in our lifetime. Yeah. I mean, just what we're talking about now mm -hmm. of how kids were treated and whether they could go out and play safely or not. Um, when we were little, compared to now, that's a gigantic change. Gigantic. Yep. That you can't, don't feel safe anyway. I don't know if you can't, but don't feel safe allowing your child out of the house alone. Well, I'm going to uh, say goodbye to you now. On that note. <laughs> uh, on that note, and wish you a, a happy new year and a, a happy Kwanzaa, in case you're black. And hey, it's uh, Christmas, too, and there's Hanukkah in there, don't forget, and... Yeah, it's all the pressure holidays are on us right now. <laughs> the pressure to give gifts and then the pressure to have fun, you know. Uh, and I, I, I hate and that kind of And you threw your birthday in just for good measure. Uh, uh, birth yeah, yeah, birthday for good measure, which everybody forgets because Christmas is coming up. So, well, you know, yes. anyway. When I, my brother was born on the 21st of December, and my mother always gave him a birthday party in July, Mm -hmm. because nobody, people would come at Christmas time and said, I couldn't think of two things, so here's one for both, for birthday <laughs> and Christmas. So he felt, she felt he got cheated, so she gave him a birthday party in July. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Ronnie Bennett. Timegoesby.net is her uh, uh, place to go see all her writings and her musings. And, uh, I, Such they are. and I will do what everybody does this time of the year. I'll see you next year. Oh, is it? Will it be next year? Next time? Yes, it will be. It'll be the first next yeah. time we talk. Yeah, it sure will. Well, happy birthday until then. And a happy New Year and a merry whatever Hanukkah. Yeah, Hanukkah. Whatever, yes. Hanukkah, because you converted to Judaism, which makes you more Jewish than me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Ronnie Bennett. Thanks, Ronnie. Thank you. Five years and still talking. This is Gabnet. The Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Boy, that was, what was that? Let me see. Let me try that again here. Let me see if it. Five years and. and oh, really? And how about this? Five years and still talking. Okay. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. I, what, what was that, though? This. Five years and. Wow. No telling why these things happen. I give up. I give up. I give up. I give up. And every night something goes wrong. Oh, boy. Fuck me. Fuck them. Fuck everything. Let's see now if the phones work okay. The phones, the Skype, if the Skype works okay. All right. Let me see here. Let me uh, Let me get some. Uh, some... Oh, there we go. Skype. Whoops, 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 whoops. Hello there. Oh. Yay, it works. It, it works. Well, so far. Yay. Wait a minute. We have to see here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to see if we can get you on. Let me see here. Uh, this would be Bob J. Kazoo. Let me see if that's there. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There she is. Hi, Kathleen. How are you this evening, Schmoody? Happy birthday. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. Hey, I'm looking a little pale. It's because I decided I went out to dinner tonight. And so I was wearing this. So I figured I'd still wear the sweater. It'd be nice. But somehow... Actually, you look good in that color. Yeah, but it makes my face pale. Oh, whatever. Now I've got to go put some makeup on. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. Make myself look better. Not. But anyway. Anyway, that's uh, that's uh, a schmoody. Oh, wait a minute! Here comes Charlie Wallace. Let me uh, let me see here what happens with Charlie. Let's go to we put him in the number two spot. Let me see. First, I got to get a picture on. There we go. 
Now let me see, Charlie Wallace, oh, there he is. Okay, hello Charlie, how are Happy you? Happy birthday, Alex. Thank you very much. Here comes, here comes Phil. Uh, it's, it, he's standing up, however, I don't know why, but he's, uh, <laughs> and now he's sitting down. Uh, it's, it's Phil's belly. Yeah. Hey, you're an octogenarian. <laughs> yeah, Phil, why are you so close? Why is your camera I'm not so... that close. I got to adjust the camera. Yeah, yeah, go adjust your camera. You can complain about technology. Yeah, yeah. I always Zoom. complain about technology. I have no idea what this was. I still don't get it. L listen, listen to this. I heard that. What the hell was this that? Oh, now it's the working American... okay. Now it's working okay. Okay. I don't know. It's just every night something has to fuck up on me, you know. Yeah. But I but I do think we're going out there okay, and that's fine, and you know that's good. All right. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Let me also do that. Okay. All right. So how are you all tonight? Good. I'm good. Good. Yeah. Younger than you. Oh fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to have you that close, Phil? God. I, I'm trying to adjust it. It's not... Uh, God damn it. It's not, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Let me quit these web... I'll quit that software. Yeah. And I'll go to the Logitech camera. Yeah, yeah. Software. There yeah. it is. Yeah. And then okay. We'll, yeah, and then let's see what happens here. If he, get, if he gets it going. Anyway, uh, uh, but uh, tonight everything seemed to work okay until I played that. I said everything, everything's the stuff is playing right, all the stuff is working, nothing's going bad, and then all of a sudden, boom. What's happening at Kathleen's house? <laughs> They're having a party. <laughs> There's a party Well, I went to Safeway and I got. My son, some, um, you know, pumpkin pie. He can't have uh, dairy. So I got some non-dairy creamer, and then I got myself some German chocolate cake. cake but he's into the whipped cream. And every time he, my cat, kitty girl, loses her mind, she's like, hey, 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 where's mine? Hmm. Everybody's a little <laughs> out of sync tonight, I think, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, well. Fuck it. I, I give up. Maybe I'm speaking another language, but it's dubbing it in English. Yes, right. <laughs> what, 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 what we can do is is uh, next year um, we can uh, just uh, not do the video anymore. Just do audio, and then I don't have to worry about 99.9% .9 of this shit. Including the, fact, including the fact that we see every pimple on, on, on uh, Phil's face. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I tried restoring it to defaults. So I went to webcam control. It's not allowing me to uh, to reduce the size. Uh, I'll, I'll call back. Maybe that'll fix no, it. No, I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it. That All wouldn't right. fix it. It's something in your. You just have to. Isn't there? Isn't there something that allows you to adjust your camera? Yeah, but it's uh, it's not working. It's all grayed out. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, uh -oh. okay, hang up and restart. Call again. Re restart Skype. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, bye. There oh, he bye. goes. He'll freeze up on us, folks. Oh, boy. And now my, my ass is hurting me tonight. I don't know. Or we're going to call him Big Head Phil. Big Head <laughs> Phil. Yeah. <laughs> big Head. Big Head. Anyway. so Or uh, Big Ass yeah. Phil. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm 80 now. You can all stop listening because nobody wants to listen to old people. Oh, come on. So well, where'd you go for dinner? We went to uh, Lydia Bastianich's place. Beb, not, there's a place that she has called Bapo, and this thing called Bebo, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, it was in a rough part of town to get to because of the, the current uh, uh, problems with the... With the uh, uh, what can we call it? With the uh, uh, with the fact that it's uh, Christmas season, right? And uh, during Christmas season, uh, everybody is downtown, and it was just uh, it, it, it was crazy. It was just nuts getting there. 
But once we got there, it was okay. But geez, nice. almighty, it was. Anyway, uh, we're being joined here by, uh, let's see here, by Tom Yamaguchi as well. Hello, Tom. How are you? Hi. Yeah. The, there, you have some snow today. It kind of. You know, it was kind of slushy, a little bit coming down, then not at all, and then some, and then some rain. It, it's a really horrible night. So it was a horrible time to try and go out to dinner in Midtown, New York. And uh, but we got there and it was worth every moment of it because I ordered a steak that may be the best steak I've ever eaten. I mean, it was nice. just perfect. It was perfectly cu uh, cooked. It was tasty. It had nice little amount of fat on it, so it was good. Marbling, oh, was nice. Marbling, really nice. We had the I had some we had some calamari. We always order the calamari. Sweet. We're a sucker for yes. the calamari. And the mm. calamari was good. But what was really good was the sauce itself. And then uh, she had fish. Uh, and then uh, she ordered a dessert because uh, she told them it was my birthday. And so she had to order the dessert because I wasn't going to order one. And so I came <laughs> with a candle. So, uh, But I blew it out. And I made a nice. wish. And then I, you know, I felt bad about making a wish because I, I wished for something for me. And I really should have wished for somebody else. Something for somebody else. Or for both you and Marjorie. I've become yeah. less selfish as the years have gone on. I know that's hard to understand, Tom, because you've known me a long time. <laughs> but, uh, happy, yeah. Happy birthday. Well, th thank you. It's nice of you to wish me a happy birthday. Let me see here. Let yeah. me go to uh, get Jeff on here. Let's see here. If you're in there, then he could go into number five. And we go Stein Zeller. He's always at the bottom of the list because I guess because uh, either the Z or the Stein or the something. And uh, let me see here. Uh, let me just uh, do this. And there's uh, hi, hi there, Jeff. How are you? Good. Good. Happy birthday. Yeah. Well, happy birthday to you too. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm I don't know when your birthday is, and I want to beat the rush. That's all. Okay. <clears throat> You know. you know, Alex, even in your 50s, you were not selfish. Huh? Oh, you were not selfish, even in your 50s, because when I met you, you had to have been 56, 57. Uh, well, I don't know about that. Uh, I think I was, I've been a pretty selfish person most of my life, uh, I think. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you know, really not when it came to me and my family. I mean, maybe there were other things you might have been selfish with, but you yeah. were actually a really sweet person. Well, that's nice of you to say. Uh, but I no, I always consider myself selfish what? because I was always I was always self consumed about things, you know. So Well, you were, <laughs> but you were also surrounded by some real a holes. Oh, so I look better compared to them. <laughs> oh, my God, did you? I mean, once your career started, you know, once that whole thing started going, I just remember thinking, holy shit, he's going to realize who his true friends are and who aren't. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you're out, why, why this thing is out of sync tonight. For some reason... Bah, 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 bah. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm not out of sync. The rest of you are. So fuck it. You know? <laughs> actually, actually, it's Kathleen that's out of sync. You're not, Jeff. Talk to me, Jeff, want, a second. Do you want me to call back? No, don't call back. <laughs> okay. Jeff, talk to me. Say something. Yeah, hello. I'm here. He's perfect. What, is this not strange? Hmm? Yeah, is I don't know. It's just all, all, the, all, all the things that are going on on uh, Skype here, uh, on the uh, on the air <laughs> Pictures are oh. a little. <laughs> God bless you. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> anyway, so. Or um, as they used to say, stop sneezing. Yeah. yeah. That's what my son says. Or what's wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But no, so I, I don't know. I just always thought I was kind of a little bit on the selfish side. You know, I mean, I, I, I. You know, I, I, I did stuff for people. You know, I think I was. <laughs> oh my! What's what's with her? <laughs> yeah, what's with her? <laughs> Don't give it to the rest of us for crying out loud. <laughs> you know. 
Anyway, let's see if Phil's see. there now. Phil should be there. There you are, Phil. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And small again. Okay. <laughs> I got the flu shot. Now, you see, he's in sync. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I I, I'm a member of a boy Phil. band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a break dance. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, don't start break dancing. Very funny, Phil. Some The only on. thing that will break if I dance is my hip. <laughs> I'll, 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 tell you, I'll tell you what I'm saying. Tell me. Get down and never get back up. <laughs> what, I, what, what, what I was thinking of is this is the last week that we'll be doing shows this year. Because uh, we're, we're not we're not doing New Year's, not doing Christmas Eve. So we're off from Christmas Eve to uh, and New Year's uh New Year's, uh, the day after New Year's, the second. So, uh, you know, we have two more shows for this year, and then that's it. You know, so. I just thought I'd Okay. Huh? <laughs> okay. Everyone's real quiet. They're like. Yeah. 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 I can talk to my mother for a night. <laughs> <laughs> for two I'll weeks. I was talking about happy pills an hour earlier. Yep. Oh, look, you're tired. Good night. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, no. yeah. But anyway, everybody's out of sync. I don't understand it. Oh, well, fuck it. <laughs> Phil froze. Phil froze. He yeah, made yeah. Phil's froze. Oh, he froze in the worst way, didn't he there? Look at that. <laughs> that looks like a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Steak, it's like he got it's bad news dinner. and he just froze. <laughs> Oh well. It's not his night because of the impeachment. Yeah. Nope. It probably is. Yeah. <laughs> he probably had a nightmare. Look at that. He just Close had a heart happy, attack from the mad. impeachment. Yeah. Well now you it's get uh, the shock. He's in shock. <laughs> oh need to impeach. Oh, there we go. There this we go. This is the shit uh -huh. I got from uh, Tom Steyer last uh, oh. June at the uh, at the Pride cell at the uh, San Francisco nice. Pride. Yeah. We have a whole bunch of a contingent marching. Yeah. I should uh, for my niece. For her impeachment. Well, he is now the uh, he is the third president in history to be impeached. Yeah. Uh, Nixon doesn't count because Nixon never got impeached. They never got to the vote. He, right. He resigned right. before yeah, the vote. Yeah, they had just passed the articles, and it didn't get to the full house yet. And the Republicans said to Nixon, uh, resign. Right. You know, exactly. You better resign. Uh, you don't want to face impeachment because he probably would have been found guilty in the Senate. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. So he, oh. he resigned. Yeah. He just resigned. Yeah. But in the but, case. But he became impeached. He never went to the Senate. That's yeah. The House. Yeah. They did this. Yeah. So anyway, so everybody, in case you're watching us, uh, we're, everybody's a little out of sync, but it doesn't matter. Except for Phil, he's not out of sync at all. He's just frozen. <laughs> he's cold. And in, and what is that? That should be his publicity picture. <laughs> you know, uh, it kind of it looks like, hey, hi, how are you? <laughs> no, it. Um, uh, now I I don't know how this is going to turn out for the. Uh, uh, for the for the Democrats, I mean, whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, what do you think, Charlie? You're always good on this. Well, I think it could turn out great for the Democrats if they would just step up and do it. They're just waffling, waffling so much on this impeachment, and they left out the worst charges. Yeah. So I, they're they're trying to blow it. Um, you, you I don't agree. What 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 what'd you say? Who said I that? I said I don't agree. I think they're 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 doing exactly what they need to do. And uh and uh you know uh the uh the, the fact is that uh that you know uh, yeah, certainly they're taking a risk, but at the same time, if they didn't do it, it would probably have been worse for them. Yeah. So so I I would just well, say they okay. just did what they needed to do and and, and put and and put the country first and, and before the party. Unfortunately, the Republicans didn't. So, and uh, you know, so that's all. That's all I can say. Yeah. Well, I I think they did the only thing they could do. I mean, you can't let something like this just go undone. 
because it sends a message to every future president that you can get away with this kind of stuff. Yeah. In other words, if you if you don't do it, you create a new norm. I know <laughs> Phil would disagree, but uh, is he frozen now, or is he just... No, oh, no. Okay, okay. I'm just thinking about the kangaroo court that you guys are so happy about. Uh, oh, that, it wasn't uh, the kangaroo court. The, uh, you can call it a kangaroo court, doesn't make it one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a kangaroo court. Hey, hey, Republican Senate. How's that a kangaroo court? Yeah. Hey, Tom. Uh, so you took some of Tom Steyer's billionaire money, uh, to, and and you're wearing it. Sure. No. Well, no, actually, I actually I gave, made a donation. I actually made a donation to the uh, need to impeach organization. But yeah, I took his his T-shirt. All right. I wish I I you know I'll tell you the truth. It was right after that he announced he was running for president. I wish. I wish I had, if I had known he was going to consider ready for prison, I would have told him right then, don't do it. Don't do it. Stay with the, what you are doing with the impeachment. Work for the Senate candidates, but don't run for president. In fact, I was, going to, I was actually going to, to, to thank him for not running for president. But okay. I wrote him and said, man, you're making a big mistake. Where is he in the polls? Oh, around 4 or 5%. Really that high? Yeah. Well, he's got a lot of money. Yeah. Hi, Kevin. Kevin. Hi, Kathleen. Happy birthday, Alex. Thank hey, you birthday. very much. I appreciate it. Uh, let me see here. I'm trying to. Um, I'm trying to get myself in the picture here. Hold on a second. It's uh, it's a oh, bit yeah. of a problem here. Uh, Brian. Well, you're the only one I have in Skype. Yeah. Everybody else is up at the circles. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Am I? Am I there? Wait a minute. Oh, no. Hold on a second. I know what I got to do. Hold on, folks. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. You see, I mean, somehow the other night something went really wrong here. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, there we are. Okay. All right. Now we're there. Hi, Kevin. Everybody's there. I'm there, too. Okay. So anyway, um, when you call it a kangaroo court, Phil, you're simply parroting what... Uh, Trump says I've been calling it a kangaroo no, court no, since no. the very it's, beginning. It's not a kangaroo court. He, they had every opportunity to present their witnesses. They had every opportunity to present their people, and they didn't. no, they didn't. Yes, they did. They didn't. They were. They, they were, said they didn't. The, well, they said you they, know more than the congressman they, they, that got yeah, no. Uh, they they said, got hoodwinked. No, they said they didn't. But they were more than they had. They had ample opportunity to have people infused into that discussion. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens in the Senate. Well, no, you got to convict him in the Senate. You may you may accuse him in the Congress, but you got to convict him in the Senate. No, no. The fact is that they're not going to convict him in the Senate because your Republicans are marching yeah. in lockstep. Oh, because they see the truth. You know, the, the no, rest no, of the hey, guys listen, are so. I got to uh, tell you. I got to tell you how many, how many, many, how many, how many, how many. Oh, wait a they won't look at the evidence. What evidence? The evidence says he said us. I heard so many Congress people saying he asked, he says, do okay. me a favor. He didn't say that. Uh, do you notice? He, uh, the uh, transcript said, do Tom, us Tom a favor. Tom has his hand up. All right. Okay. First of all, us probably meant his, his campaign and his friend Rudy Giuliani. Second thing, yep. uh, I just remembered, I just got home, so I, my brain is still getting together. But I just remembered, I hope you don't mind me mentioning Michelangelo Signorelli because I was listening to the Oh, Senate. I heard him say, did you hear what he said? They found, yeah. they found a tape of, uh, of an interview uh, with Trump and uh, Wolf Blitzer. And I guess this was right after uh, Nancy Pelosi uh, became speaker the first time. And Trump, first of all, he says how much he likes Nancy Pelosi. He'd be better. He liked her so much. And then he said that he was really disappointed with her that she didn't impeach Bush because he deserved to get impeached for lying. And then he said that the, the uh, uh, impeachment against Clinton was totally bogus. <laughs> So you'll be hearing you'll be hearing that. Uh, Maybe that he was interview. right. <laughs> okay, so that means if we can impeach somebody for lying, then then no. go for it. Okay, okay. Perjury, Phil, Phil. Perjury is somebody a has his hand up, Phil. Somebody right. has his hand. Up. Somebody, up. somebody has said, his hand said, up, Phil. He was saying it wasn't Bush that was testifying uh, under oath. I mean, it wasn't Clinton. He was talking about Bush. 
He was saying that Bush should have been impeached for lying. Well, uh, well just, Phil, yeah, somebody has his hand up. Can I no. answer the man? No, you can't because somebody has his hand up. Well, I got my hands up. You just couldn't see them. No, I see <laughs> because you were had your hand underneath the table jerking yeah, off Yeah, here, the right Trump. here. Yes, uh, <laughs> Charlie, like, Charlie. Like Michael Dinchowski in my second grade class. Charlie. Never Will you let Charlie <laughs> talk, please? <laughs> yes, Charlie. <laughs> I just want to point out that the trial is supposed to be in the Senate, and the Senate is supposed to be the jury and is supposed to rule on the, the, the articles of impeachment. Both Lindsey Graham and Mitch McConnell have said they don't care what they say. They're not going to listen to any testimony. They're not going to. They've already made up their mind. They're going to. In fact, McConnell says he is going to work with the president, with the White House, throughout this whole procedure. Now, what would you say in a trial if the if the chair, if the foreman of the jury announced that he was going to work with the defendant and the defense attorney during the whole course of that trial? I think there's a word for that, Charlie. Kangaroo say, court. Wait a minute. There's a word for that, Charlie. Kangaroo court. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I would say that he That's sees the injustice, court. the injustice that has been inflicted on Trump, oh. and uh, Poor so man. he's oh. not going to let it continue. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, what, what did you, you know, say, Kathleen? Uh, wah, wah, look, wah. You said, Bennett, you said that, uh, you know, with Clinton, he was impeached for lying. He was impeached for perjury. You don't have any high crime or misdemeanor to impeach Trump, except for the fact that for the last two and a half years, the Democrats have wanted to find anything they could use to uh, signal this, uh, this impeachment. And so uh, they're using whatever they can, and it's weak. It's very weak. It's beyond weak. So, you know, if, if, you, if, if you want to bury your head time. in the sand... And, and let and and watch this injustice. You go right ahead. The, at least the people in the Senate will uh, correct it. Oh, his head is in the sand. Yeah, He's going to come up with sand on his face. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I was doing. That was the little mime thing, a little theater there for you. Okay, yeah, a little sand on your face. Yeah. How come Phil's in sync? <laughs> That's what I don't understand. You don't want to hear me sing. <clears throat> no, I just, uh, you know, I think, Phil, uh, that uh, among other things, you don't understand that it wasn't a kangaroo court. It was, it was the process they go through. He had every opportunity to send his representatives to speak. He, he, had, the, he had the ability, if he wanted to, to speak himself, but he didn't. So the, the fact of, so the fact that he didn't do any of those things kind of releases uh, him uh, the responsibility of them to 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 listen to everything because they're not being allowed to. He in fact told people not to show up he, in in violation yep. of Congress. I mean, he actually that I think is one of the things they're uh, they're yelling right. about I, is that he. Well, 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 let me finish, uh, Phil. That he yeah. that he obstructed justice. By not allowing people to speak and saying they couldn't. Yes, Kevin, you look like you it want to say something. It was obstruction of Congress, Phil, not obstruction of justice. Uh, Phil, uh, uh, Kevin. Get it right. Do you want to say something, Kevin? No, go ahead. I was just adjusting. Oh, okay. Right. We lost Tony. We lost Jeff. Yeah, what happened to Jeff? What happened to Tony? They've been kidnapped, <laughs> my God. <laughs> There's Jeff, he's safe. Uh, oh, say, yeah. Jeff is back, he's safe. Okay, good. Uh, where's Tony? But where's Tony? He's where's probably Tony go? smothering his mother right now. No. <laughs> she grabbed him by the ankles and yanked him over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's probably yeah. having to wipe her ass or something. I don't know. What <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, I just, uh, I, I mean, I don't, of course he's not going to get convicted in the Senate. I think you might have one or two senators that might bolt, but I doubt it. Uh, although Romney might, you know. I don't think so. Yeah, they showed one Republican voted uh, yes today. No, oh, that yeah. was an independent. No, they showed a Republican. 
They really did, huh? Uh, I probably think. probably uh, Romney, maybe. No, no, he's the no, that's senator. Right. That's right. He's the right. Guy I, from, uh, yeah, because uh, my wife saw it, and I went, no, that's probably an independent. And I looked at it, and it said a Republican. Well, was it see, under the Republican column. Is that the guy from, uh, from Florida? Maybe, yeah. Uh, Here's what's yeah. going to happen in the Senate. See, what should happen in the Senate is they should hold a trial. And what's going to happen is the Republicans in the Senate are going to stonewall against that and just find him innocent without anybody testifying or anything. Okay? So, uh, of course, he's going to win in the Senate because the fix is in. They're not going to listen and then listen yeah. to the evidence and then vote based on the evidence. So, there you go. I've made my case. Is Phil Frum He's already or? bribed. I'm trying to look up what the vote was. But um, yeah, it could have been a mistake when I looked at it, but I saw it under the column. Maybe it was corrected. Yeah. I don't know. Could be. It wasn't finished yet. It could be under party <laughs> lines, you know, whatever. God. Yeah, it was. It was all. I just want to say, that 22 Republicans in the Senate are up for re-election. All they have to do is is vote to let Trump get off for this, and and uh, I think every one of them will be kicked out of office. Let's see. They what, obviously didn't do their job. Let's see what Kathleen's son thinks. <laughs> <laughs> he goes and hides. He's, he's like he's like a cat. <laughs> you know? He is. He's worse than a cat. <laughs> Every senator has to take an oath that they will be an impartial judge during this proceeding, and Mitch McConnell and Lindsey Graham have already said they won't be. So yeah. You know what, my son lie. is like the Republicans after the impeachment. They're all going to hide. Oh, everybody's in sync now. I don't know why, but everybody's in all sync. Right. That I, got, I got the thing here. Uh, Article 1, abuse of power. Um, uh, Republicans, two Republicans didn't vote, but the votes were uh, uh, no 197 to 195, yes 230, to 220, uh, no, 230 was the total, 229 to zero. One independent voted yes. So zero Republicans on the first article. Uh, on the second article, obstruction of Congress, uh, it was also, it was uh, 228 Dem, uh, zero Republicans voting yes. One independent voted yes. That's a lot. So, so um, uh, and uh, there was uh, not voting uh, blah blah boo. <laughs> yeah, well, it was zero uh, Republicans defected. Well, yeah, yeah. you said you said that there were a couple that did not vote at all. Yeah, as well as Dems. Uh, there, um, from yeah, what I saw on TV, no it said yeah. four, it was forty-two that didn't vote. But uh, what I'm seeing here on the uh, uh, New York Times dot com yeah. is uh, not voting was uh, uh, th three in total. Uh, for the first uh, first thing, and and uh, four and uh, three also three in total for the obstruction. So uh, maybe it changed uh, from the forty two that I'd seen. For some but, of the for uh, some of the Dems who didn't vote, one of the reasons why is they're probably in essentially Republican districts. Well, Tulsi yeah. Gabbard and yeah. Hawaii is not a Republican district. No, she's, Tulsi she, Gabbard voted present. She is a uh, she's not a Republican or a Democrat. She's a Russian. She was a yeah, she was a according to Hillary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, it, you know, I mean, well, Tul has, hasn't really Tulsi not. Gabbard been against impeachment all along? I don't know. I don't think so. You don't think so? Uh, no, she's been quiet. Oh, okay. yeah, well, she voted present. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Maybe she's mail order. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I'll put some stamps on that. <laughs> she's mail order? Uh, mail order politician. Yeah. Yes. Uh, or mail order bride, he was thinking. You know, what do you Russian. think? What do you think, Kevin? What are your thoughts on it? There, of course, you're for the impeachment, right? Yeah, but it's it's almost. I watched a bunch of it today. I was watching it, and then I'd not watch it. And it was the same old shit. Obviously, it was interesting. The 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 constant back and forth was the same old shit. Yeah. We knew how it was going to go. Yeah. And I just, you know, it's going to go to the Senate. We know how it's going to go. And what's going to happen then? You know, we know how everything's going to go up until the end of the Senate. Yeah. And then and then I want to know what happens after that. There are going to be no surprises is what you're saying. Yeah. 
Yeah. And and then then what happens? Does is it gonna you know, we know what happened with Nixon. He finally gave up and said, "Fuck sure. it, I'm leaving." Yeah. But we, I don't think Trump will do that. I no, think that's... Trump is is gonna is gonna hang in there and say, "Fuck it, I'm staying. I'm gonna piss you all off." Mm-hmm. And he's gonna win a second term. I don't th- I, listen. I is think... that is every possibility that he will, so. Phil? Because I don't think the Democrats have come up with anybody who can beat him. Okay. Can I say one? Yeah, sure. Yes. Absolutely. Please, please I was, do talk. Go ahead. I was talk, thinking talk, about this. Talk. Just really logically. You... Ready? Well, okay. okay. And. Okay. I know Phil likes Trump, but I think something's going to happen before the election. I think he's going to have to step down, and it's going to be reminiscent of Nixon. I think somebody close to they're going to get they're going to pinch somebody close to Trump, and they're going to flip him. Yeah. And that's going to force. You know, you could be right. Down. There could be something laying in wait. And then Trump why are they being so result. aggressive? They, why are they being yeah, so aggressive with this thing? Nobody can take the stand. Nobody can do anything. Everybody around him's. Gonna, He's going to come out, and I think when Trump steps away, it's going to be more of an illness. I can't run because I'm not healthy. He's going to do something where he's going to take I know what he can it's say. It's not his fault. I, I yeah. got I got yeah, he, he can say play the pro- guy prostate like cancer. That's what he can say, prostate cancer. Oh, he can't cancer. take your stuff. He I just have a oh, shut up. Three months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you imagine he takes you at the, the doctor says you got to wait out because we got Trump off. Oh, <laughs> Let me come to this. I want. I mean, I, I really feel there's a bigger story here because I think it's no. it's not Trump. I know. What, I know what he's going to say. I know what he's going to say. I got it. I got mm. it. He's going to say yeah. I can't run. I I can't run for another term. I'm going to have to step down. My bone spurs are killing me. Oh, that's yeah. it. You can always fall back. I think I got out of Vietnam. Yeah, coming back. Yeah, coming back. I think it's. I think it's one. I think it's a guy around. I think they, we may never know the true story, but he's gonna he's gonna leave. I think. You know something? You, you, there's a possibility that what you're saying could happen. Um, yeah. I just think that there. It's sad that there's nobody that can go up against him. Well, yeah, that's a different story. Okay. Yeah. That there's nobody that can capture the imagination of the American public or be the the. The, the alternative to Trump to a lot of people who have to hold their nose when they vote for him. That's a good okay. point. Yeah, it's like, who do we have? Nobody we have. What do you, what like do you think, Tom? That's do you sad. think I make sense at all? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't want to vote just to vote for the person to go against him. You want to vote with some conviction. Like, I kind of yeah. believe what he's saying. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's, there is a, a core group of morons and people who are missing front teeth who will vote that for Donald me. Trump, who will vote... <laughs> But they're straight down. <laughs> who, who will vote for Donald Trump? I mean, you know, I uh, come hell or high water. I mean, in spite of the fact the man's a fucking crook, he's immoral. He, you know, if you're a good Christian, he doesn't have any Christian ethics. Uh, and yet, um, uh, if the Democrats have to put somebody up that people don't have to hold their noses and vote for, he's your typical person that will jump into a Boiling pot of shit and come out smelling like a rose, no matter what happens. I mean, well, because he uses the old um, um, uh, cone uh, uh, strategy, which is never admit that you've done something exactly. wrong. That's what exactly. Exactly. Okay. You know. Never. P.T. Barnum was right. What? P.T. Barnum. P.T. Barnum was right. Is the sucker born every minute? Yeah. Wasn't it Clinton? Yeah, that's, uh, that's Bill how Clinton Trump gets away with it. Wasn't it Bill Clinton that said deny, deny, stall, something like that? No, you know? no, no. <laughs> that, that was that was Roy Cohn. Uh, uh, I thought it was Bill Clinton. <laughs> well, you know, there's an old saying: you can fool some of the people some of the time, but not all the people all the time. But if you can do it once every four years, you can get elected. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be and that that's what happened here. I mean, I think it's sad. I think that uh, um, America's lost its way. Just lost its way, and I, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to be dead in a few years, and everybody ah! else. Well, no, but I'm going to be dead in a few years, whether I live to be a hundred or not. You know, I mean, I'm still, I'm still at the, the part of my life where uh, uh, there are less years than there are um, future years, uh, and uh, it shouldn't really even matter to me. I should just go, oh, fuck it. You know, it's your problem. But I can't. I just can't. Because I believe in the America I was taught existed. 
in its goodness and in its uh, uh, and and I am completely bothered that this is even going on. Well, this the thing, whole thing is that he could be doing good, but not be such an asshole about it, and not be doing all the other shit that he's doing, and still be doing good. Yeah, yeah. You know, he could be you know doing all the shit that he wants to be doing and, and setting this country in the right direction. But he's, he's fucking with so much shit that yeah. he's, okay. you know, he, he's, he's the, yeah. the whole country's in a stir. Yeah. And you know, what was crazy today. I was watching some of this and Tom might know about it. One of the Republicans compared him to Jesus and the Democrats. Yes. Yeah, so I, I heard yeah. that in the background. Hey, was that, am I fucking a bizarre yeah. Like, what was, what was that all about, Tom? I heard kind of that in the background. Full bore. While I was doing other stuff, I heard that in the background. What was that all about? It was like... I was like, what's next? I mean, really, I just... He's gonna, Alex, did you ever hear something so fucking bizarre in all, in all your life that he would even say that? Yeah. I was like, what's his name? You know what? Give me your credentials. You're out of the fucking job. I mean, this is fucking stupid. Well, really. I mean, you know, ev evoking Jesus as being, him being like Jesus... I did a double take. I was making soup. I was like, I couldn't just say that. Yeah. So and maybe you should have like, said he was he like the Beatles. Oh, come on, Phil. It's off the fucking wall. Beatles Would you like... hire a guy, Phil, who talked like that? Of course. Probably fucking put him in a straitjacket. Come Jesus on. Jesus was a college. socialist. J Jesus was a socialist. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they would have crucified me. You know what they should have told me? You would have crucified him anyway. He wanted to give free yeah. health care. You know, okay, let me ask Kathleen something. You've got a son there. Right? Yes. Well, you have one who disappears the minute you turn a camera on him. Right. Is he is he is he out? Is he standing around? Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> 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 He's like Rudy, we can't get him. But yeah, yeah. Nope. It's, it's like a cockroach. You turn the lights on and he goes scattering. Oh, really? <laughs> the well they stop running. Yeah. He just stays um, <laughs> but, won't kill me. But anyway, um, um, uh, you have a kid, right? He's got. Yes. He's going to have to live with what happens with all of this. Yeah. Now, maybe you don't care much about it now, because you know. No, listen. There's not a day that I go by that I don't think about all this shit because. Really? Well, you know, my son, because he's on the spectrum with autism. You know, he doesn't talk a lot at school, but he's extremely intelligent. So. Yeah. Because he doesn't, he only has like two or three friends. I got him involved in the youth group at the church. And then I started Bible study. And I'm sure these people were like, oh my God, get this broad out of here. Because I'm the one with all the questions. Because over the summer, I read Roman history. I read Flavius Josephus. So I read the Jewish antiquities, the Jewish wars. Then I'm like, you know, I tell my son, his name wasn't Jesus, it was Yeshua, which if you translate it, it's Joshua. And like Christmas, last year he was asking me all these questions about Christmas, and I said, you know what, dude, it's just a bunch of bullshit. It's a lie. Gee, I thought Joshua Christ was his brother. Tell that yeah. to Hallmark. I believe it. No, I mean, and... Oh, the Jews killed Jesus. No, they didn't. The Romans did. So yeah. when it comes to politics and all this stuff, I'm very hey, much... Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jesus wasn't killed by the Jews. He was killed by the Romans. You I know, heard I've, been assuming, I've been assuming all my life that we killed Jesus, and now you tell me You're we didn't? you a liar. Boy, am I disappointed. Well, you needed a good lawyer to get off. That's what it's like. <laughs> Wait, we weren't there. Right well, they own everything here. How are we doing anything? Yeah, I mean, but when it comes Romans. to these Christians, you know, Romans. I have a lot of issues with them. They're very ignorant, and they're so stuck mm -hmm. on this man-made book. So when it comes to politics and stuff, oh, my God. Uh, once lobbying and money gets into it, it's... But you know, the, you know the reason why Christ died on the cross. He couldn't afford the retainer. Thank you. you know. <laughs> but I'm bummed. <laughs> so, that's my joke you know, for this year. Me, that, 
<laughs> there's a whole different level and I'm not going to go into it. I'm very uh, much a realist. Yeah. But, and but, but, in a way, I feel bad for our for the next generation forward. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this, though. But your son is growing up into this world, which is going to be at some point post-Trump. Yeah. Oh, okay. And if, if, if it goes too long, I think the world's going to be a bit fucked up. How do you feel yeah. about him growing up in that world? Terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Yeah, yeah. Does he have an opinion on the matter, or does he just go hide under the couch? What did you say? He said something to effect of the, you know, as you were talking, he said, fucked up. Yeah, yeah. He totally agrees. So, he, by the way, you said he was autistic, but he's on the cusp or something. What's that term they use? He's, you know, you know he's like my nephew, so... When it comes to, you know, he has a hard time dealing with kids his age, but he totally connects with adults. There's nothing wrong with that. Exactly. You know, most of the kids nowadays play video games. They're, they have cell phones. They're into all this technology crap. But my son doesn't have a cell phone. He knows everything there is about movies. He loves old shows. I mean, he's growing up. You know, the way I did with, you know, just a little bit. How of is that the autistic? How's, how's that autistic? You know? It's probably the fact that he can't relate to um, the kids around him. Okay. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah, fuck Exactly. Him. That's fuck what I tell him. I said, you know, listen, if they want to play video games and they want to be stuck in their own technology, just let it go. But he is capable but, of being sociable with, say, adults, for instance. You oh, say. totally. Okay, so he relates better with adults than he does with. Don't let those assholes tell pigeonhole him into saying that he's autistic. He's not autistic. He's advanced. Well, that's what I tell them. I said, don't ever use that as an excuse. Well, you know, you know what happens today with with kids. We were, we, I was, who was I was talking to about? It? I think it was maybe Ronnie when we when I was interviewing her that that we we just say that there are certain things wrong with kids that we never said were wrong with kids before. Somewhere along the right. line, we decided yeah, we that kids were autistic. Or we decided that they were this or that, and, you know, this is the way we're going to solve yeah, you, it. You were talking about that the mothers used to just yell, hey, Jimmy, come on home, it's time to eat, rather than uh, be home you before, can't go be, out. Be home before the sun goes down, or dinner's at 6, be sure you're home by right. then. You know? Yeah. Yep. And meantime, and, you, and, and, we, and I mentioned to Ronnie, we never, did you ever have a play date when you were a kid? No, yeah. I mean, you showed no. up at little no, Billy's you went, house. No, you went to yeah. Billy's house, knocked on his door, and he opened it, and you had your play hey, date. Phil's here. Yeah. Come on in. You yeah. know. Well, they just usually, usually yell. Sometimes they used to say, Phil's here. Oh, God, I locked the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Phil's here. Everybody turned the lights off. We're not home. <laughs> but, but you get what I'm saying? Oh, man, I mean, I mean, the the man. fact of the matter is that, that, uh, that I think we oh. make kids, we make life rough for kids by putting these yeah. labels on them. Yep, you that know? is a good point. Yeah. Uh, and yep. and uh, you know, they, he may be going through something right now that he's going to totally grow out of. I mean, when he's suddenly an adult and in an adult world, he may function perfectly. Well, they what happened is with him. Once he hit third grade, we knew there was an issue, and what they had to do was they had to slow down the curriculum. That's right. Once they slowed down the curriculum, then he picked it up. Tony and I were talking earlier. And Tony was telling me how he was bored in school. Yeah, I, I said, bored, well, you I know, was, you're... Yeah. Exactly. I, I used my to do my son... work and I sit around and Listen, you know things. what happened with yeah. me? You know what happened with me when I was a kid? They, uh, they decided when I went to high school that somehow I was, I don't know, uh, 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 slow. All right? Yeah. So they put me, when I went into high school, they put me in a, re, uh, what do you call one of those? Uh, remedial. 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 Yeah, remedial. They put me in a bunch, of, like a bunch of remedial classes. Future prison. And people. I suddenly said, boy, I love this high school because I was getting straight A's. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's Lunch, super easy. So and all of a sudden they woke <laughs> up and said, I guess he ain't retarded. And, <laughs> and they put me back in the other classes and I was all C's. 
You know, With and I went, fuck son. you, I want to get back to the retarded classes. Yeah. C's get degrees. Yes. <laughs> With Sean, if it doesn't interest him, he wants nothing to do with Listen, it. Listen, there is no, if I will if your son is him, listening to me, I'm gonna say, Sean, there is nothing more boring than high school or grade school. Okay. I was bored stiff. I, I was bored. I was bored to tears. But you gotta get through it. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's the only thing. You gotta get through it. I but, did you all a pos a, a really good thing because I was the part of the class that made the top half possible. Yes, the bottom exactly. Half. <laughs> I would have made sure the phone There'd be no phone. curve if it wasn't for me. I was the kid who all the teachers said to my parents, he'd really do well if he had apply himself. Yeah. Oh, you know, and what 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 they did in those days when they taught you is they gave you material, and then you memorized it, and then you. Sp but, you know, spew, spewed, spewed it back it to yeah. them. And if you spew, yeah. spewed it back to them correctly, if you were, you're like a computer. If they programmed you and you were programmed perfectly, you got A's. Well, don't ask why uh, yeah, something I, is, because I, they don't know. Yeah, and they I don't, don't want to tell you. Yeah, I never, oh, well, that, you never, I did that on several occasions and got in trouble for saying why. Yeah. 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 Well, well, you know what they used to make us do in math? And I did this on purpose one time. I forgot. It might have been algebra. You used to, they used to say, save, save your scrap sheet so we can see how you got to the answer. I used to throw it out. You, you know what? I, Fuck, I, here's I, my answer. I didn't I cheat. got to the answer by looking at the so kid they, next they, to they me. I used to say, yeah. I, I, uh, for a short <laughs> time, I taught a class here in New York. At, I can't remember, like the new school or something like that. And I said, no one in this, question, no one in this class is going to ever get in trouble for asking the right question. You know, uh, and That's I'm not right going to dun question. you. I'm not going to dun you for giving the wrong answer, but I would give. I'm going to give you credits for asking the right question. That the real thing to be able to do is to ask the right question. Uh, you know, and by doing so, you're going to learn stuff that way. Would you agree with me or disagree with me, Tom? You're kind of I, looking at me like well, I'm a car. Oh, well, I think you <laughs> have some questions you want. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, and the I, Jeff will go to Jeff you know, in a second. I, I, you know, I, you know, I, 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 I guess you know, their their high school can be a real frustrating uh, situation when you're going when you don't know what what you know what you're going to do with your life. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, there were some subjects I really enjoyed, you yeah, know, and, yeah. and others I didn't do so well in. So. Yeah. Well, I, I, what I did is I told people in this class that I was teaching, uh, our, your next assignment is to write a test and ask questions. Don't give them. And uh, Yeah, I've done that, too. Yeah, um, it, I've had teachers that have done that. Yeah. I think that's, that's really, that's actually good. That's, a, that's an actually well, good I, exercise. I think people being questioning about things. You know, yeah, uh, uh, Jeff had his hand up. Yes, Jeff. Yeah, I, th I think the biggest part about, high school and things like that mm -hmm. is is to learn a lot of things but to learn a lot about yourself and 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 the biggest thing to learn is how to think and how to make critical decisions that's right critical thinking point, yeah. Yeah. yeah i and tell my son straight up the only reason i went to high school and it was two reasons Meat was boys. to play <laughs> sports and number two, if I didn't graduate, boy, was grandma going to kick my ass. I went to school for two reasons, not to play sports and to get laid. And I had to play sports and I never got laid. So it was a terrible time in high school. Yes. Uh, we'll, we'll talk. Uh, tell your son later on we'll explain getting laid. Uh, yeah, at least had his fingers <laughs> Boy, what he must be thinking listening to this show and then watching his mother reveal herself, not only in her sports bra, but in every other way, too. Yes, uh, Charlie. Yeah, I, I went to high school because I knew I was going to go to college. I knew I was going to be a scientist, and you couldn't be a scientist without graduating from high school and college. Right. So, so I loved high school. You loved high school. 
Good for you. Yeah. You're the guy that ruined it for the rest of us. Okay, <laughs> fine. Yeah. Yeah. fine. Oh, I of, played yeah. sports, you, and I was in the drama. Miss Jones, Miss oh. Jones, do you do you remember you told gave us homework? <laughs> Were you the one that said that? I did oh, more than yeah. what she gave. Me. I would always do extra credit. Really? Yeah. I was Just that ass. guy. <laughs> well, you know the weird thing was in college I was honor roll. And I was also playing basketball. Yeah, well, I was Kaiser. Well, and, and in comedy, <laughs> at, at comedy <laughs> club, sometimes I was on a roll. So you know, the, this is uh... <laughs> a Kaiser roll. God, I'm just kill. Kaiser I'm just, roll. I'm just killing tonight. Isn't it f- how great how funny somebody can be when they have cancer? Isn't this great? <laughs> yeah, actually, perky. Really, you're right. Everything's got touching the kids. Well, yeah, right. I, I have... it's like the Larry David thing with yeah, Julie. Oh, he is Larry David. That he is Larry David. He is Larry David. <laughs> yeah, Larry. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but uh, so Tony, you didn't like it at school, right, Tony? I got bored easy. But I used to make I used to I used to make phony report cards right, for the stupid kids. I used to make sell them twenty dollars each. You missed the spelling I made him on my Commodore 64. I had a, I never forget one kid. I never forget this kid. He came to me. I, he would tell me the grades he wanted. He says, you know, say biology. I want an 85. I says, listen, your father's never going to believe you got an 85. Yeah. We got to do something yeah. reasonable here. So we, and I, how many absences you want? So I used to always go over. So, you know, and one time that Monday I gave it to him. He came to me the next week. I said, what happened? Everything's good, right? Oh, my God. He says, my father loved it, he said. I said, you have to understand. I can't print up diplomas, I said. Because <laughs> sooner or later, you got to graduate. Because yeah. I saw his original report card. He had to stay extra. And I'm sure, Je- I'm sure Jeff liked high school, right, Jeff? I used to buy records with the money. I, I had two parts of it. It was that I hated it and I loved it. It was that crazy combination. I went to I went to a school in, in uh, called Brooklyn Tech, mm-hmm. which all guys and uh, and everybody was uh, very very smart. Yeah, incredibly smart, and a lot of them were real nerds too. Yeah, and and then a lot of people you know who were in sports or whatever, but they were very serious. Like they all wanted to get A's and oh wow, so that was competitive to then. Um, Columbia or whatever. You know, and uh, I wasn't that interested in that kind of stuff. Yeah. I was more interested in uh, maybe some of the learning parts and some of the other ones I couldn't give a damn. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, you know, I mean, I went to I went to junior college uh, in San Francisco and um, I was already working at a radio station. But I took broadcasting there because they actually had a broadcasting curriculum at this junior college. That and it was also a uh, rest. Uh, their their major their major thing for going to that school is if you wanted to be in restaurants, work in restaurants. Yeah, they had a they had a big re- a, a San Francisco City College. Yeah, had yeah. a big restaurant oh, uh, yeah. right. a training right. program. Right, and and so <coughs> I, I I went and I took I took uh, 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 you know broadcasting, but I was working in radio already, and I was learning more by working it than by studying yep. it. And uh, consequently, I finally just said to hell with it. You know, my career was going fine in radio, and what do I need this for? And I got out of college, so I never, I never even really finished much of college, you know. And uh, I, I never saw what you know. I felt I felt that working for two weeks in a radio, real radio station, under the pressure of doing a radio show, taught me more than it ever would have if I just, you know. You Did you get extra credit for the time you were doing in the radio show? You could have graduated just saying, "Hey, I'm I'm doing this in real life." Maybe you know, you, just, no. you know, give me the extra no, credit. No, in fact, I had a guy. His name was Henry Leff, uh, who, if you ever saw the movie "Take the Money and Run" with Woody Allen, there's somebody playing his father who wears wears a fake nose, one of these nose and glasses, you know, uh, mm-hmm. who who doesn't want to admit he's his father when he's being interviewed. That's Henry Leff. And he was my teacher. And he told my mother, your son's never going to make it in the broadcasting business. He said that? Yeah. And when I went back to San Francisco, and I became very popular in San Francisco radio, I think I actually went on the air one day and talked about this and said, Henry Leff uh, at San Francisco City College said I would never make it. Well, what do you think now, pal? 
Yeah. Well, I majored in law enforcement, and I didn't become a cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Jeff. Uh, you're muted, Jeff. You're muted, Jeff. You're mu I'm sorry. I'm on. Yeah. Uh, I I think that uh, Henry was your motivator when he I, said you couldn't do it. I I think so. You I, said I, screw I, him. I'm gonna do I, it. I, I think there's a good chance of that. You know. Um, uh, that, that, that was a motivating factor for me. Uh, uh, but I didn't have many people say no to me in the business as the years went on, you know. Uh, they, they just fired you. They just fired me. <laughs> That's right. They just fired me. <laughs> you got hired? I didn't, you know, I didn't get He was fired. a good interviewer. I didn't get fired. I didn't get fired that much, to be honest with you. Uh, it was only until... The later years, when I really was doing well in the business, that I would get fired because I was in the line of fire. Yeah. You know, uh, up until that time, I was just getting jobs. They would they would literally fall into my lap. You know, under the radar. Yeah. So, whatever. Mm. Um, so anyway, uh, we're coming up on the Christmas season, a time when Jews mm. feel very uncomfortable. Yeah. And um, uh, Jews made up that holiday. You know why? Why they they needed Christians so they'd have somebody to sell to retail. Oh, oh really? Good idea. Oh, okay. Somebody's yeah. got to pay retail. They did Kwanzaa now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my God! When did Kwanzaa come out? Kwanzaa they was found out sixty five. Yeah, sixty five. I thought I it was nineteen ninety. It, it was invented by a professor. Know. Where was the professor? I've never heard of it until now. Was he in Texas? Yeah, uh, somewhere. No, Southern California. Oh, Southern California. Oh. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I I always felt if I, if I I don't know how do you feel about Kwanzaa, black person Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it. I'd never heard about it until the nineties. So yeah, I I have no feeling at all. Yeah, I mean, it. do you celebrate Kwanzaa? No, I don't even celebrate Christmas anymore. Do you build I'm having a 50 off Kwanzaa sale right now. Well, you can't <laughs> afford not to buy this. You have covering. no idea what Kwanzaa is about, Phil. Kwanzaa is about building a structure called a Kwanzaa hut. Oh, really? And <laughs> well, we'll carpet that Kwanzaa hut for 50% off. Really? <laughs> and you build a Kwanzaa Sean, hut. Do you want the That's Lego Kwanzaa set? <laughs> <laughs> Badass. Badass. <laughs> the little Lego Kwanzaa a little Kwanzaa and a manger. <laughs> you know, to this day, you fucking make me laugh, Halstead. Yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, 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 Tom. I think we should celebrate Festivus. Yes, yeah. for the rest of us. Yeah. You want to celebrate? Yeah, works. They, they, hmm? just bolted back there. What? Yeah, but he hasn't done that in a long time with me. Who? Your mic's live, Ken, uh, uh, Kevin. Oh, Kevin, Kevin's talking to somebody on the phone? No, my wife, but my cat just bolted behind the screen for some damn reason. Really? <laughs> and will soon probably put you off the air. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He he used to do that when he was a cat, a uh, kitten, when and he he'd made... go back there because it was warm, I guess, and now he's about you know 18 pounds, and he decides he wants to be a kitten again. I don't Oh, what it is with cats and wires, okay? But when, yeah. we, when I was when we were baby like when, we were, when we were babysitting, uh, what's her name, uh, uh, Berta, uh, she would come into the studio. She was dying to come in the studio, so she would spend a, an hour if it took it to open this door, okay? But she finally get the door open, and she would come in, and she would start over at the other end of the studio, go behind the monitors, and walk over every wire and piece of equipment <laughs> that was here. Yeah. And I could never figure out why. It never made sense. What's she back there? She wanted to chew them. Uh, uh, uh. No, she wasn't chewing them. She was just walking Ow. over them. She just wanted to know that she could go somewhere, and I couldn't stop her. And I'm doing and the you, show and, here, and I'm going, oh, my God, yeah. she's going to, you know, something's going to get unplugged. But no, yeah. she gingerly walked over everything, and then she came to the other side and jumped down, you know. I'm not a cat lover, but there was this uh, thing on YouTube today where there was two cats, and the, each cat would ring the bell, 
and they would get a bit of food, yep. you know, kind of like the Pavlov thing. I watched that for probably five minutes, you know, just over and over. You know, oh, that's pretty interesting. You know, ring yeah. the bell, give the cat food. It was just like Pavlov. Mm. Yeah. Did you see that, Catherine? Oh, yeah. I saw it last year. Mm. Yeah, okay. In the year before, in the year before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Yeah, if I could just talk again about college and high school and things like that. Mm -hmm. My granddaughter is now in a senior in high school, and she's trying to get into college. Mm -hmm. Boy, is that one hell of a stress uh, process that mm -hmm. they have to go through now. And particularly because she's into uh, art and uh, theater and to be in shows and stuff like that. And she's been doing that for for months, for years, I should say. But the strange part is that they would often have to interview several hundred kids, auditions, yeah. Yeah. and only three of them would get the job. Wow. That's the way it is, yeah. That's like total frustration, yeah. you know? If I could do high school over again, mm. I would have gone to the debate club. I would have I would have participated in that. Uh, I I really wish I did. You know, you you look back and you say, well, what things could I have done that I didn't do? And that would definitely be one of them. Debate time. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. Uh, I never was in the debate club or anything like that. I was in the broadcasting club in high school, and then the uh, the teacher impeached me as president. <laughs> Uh, because she didn't like a radio show I did uh, on the local radio station, and uh, she, I, I was, I was uh, literally thrown out. So the whole entire broadcasting club quit. Really? Well. What was, was the topic that she didn't like? It wasn't a question of a topic. It was a show we did. I can't remember. We had 15 minutes. There was a, a show called The Big Four, and it was a show in which we had four high schools all around Marin. OK. Mm -hmm. And each show had 15. Each school had 15 minutes. And we had our 15 minutes. And one week I did a show. I can't even remember what it was about, but it was a little on the goofy side or whatever. And she said, I didn't like that. And uh, you're out as president of the broadcasting club. And so I walked out and so did everybody else in the broadcasting club. They had no broadcast the next weekend. So, so then my parents were dragged to school by the principal of the school saying, your son has started an insurrection here at Drake High School. <laughs> uh -oh. And the rest is history. And the rest is history. I've, I've been a, a, a troublemaker ever since, you know. So. You know, my brother Michael majored in broadcast communications, and he ended up at ILM. Yep, yep. And he's still there to this very day. He's been there how yeah, many years? Is. God, he's been there 20 years or something like that. He got hired right after they finished Jurassic Park. Oh, wow. Yeah. And to this day, he works there. Yes. Yes. And he's currently doing, the, what, The Mandalorian, you say? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And what's his, what's his job exactly? What's his title? He's, I don't know. Probably CGI supervisor, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's cool, isn't it? But, you know, when we were visiting my mom, um, we stayed at his place. And so he has a Victorian, and then he has an illegal in-law unit, which he calls his man cave. So we go into it, and I swear I thought my son was going to have a grand mal seizure because there's <laughs> so much movie memorabilia. My son was just wide-eyed, walking around like, oh, my God, Mom, look at all this. It was, it's a really cool place, yeah. let alone he must have over, I don't know, five to 6,000 albums, maybe over 10,000 CDs, just a huge collection of... And then, you know, so there's the living room and there's a big futon couch that... So what you're trying to tell me is he worked for ILM for 20 years and doesn't have a penny to show for it. Oh, no, he has a whole <laughs> lot of shit to show for it. I mean, and then, you know, you go into the kitchen, there's all this beer-making equipment, and then in the dining room, it's a, it's basically a music studio. Did he ever get married? Yeah, he's married, and his daughter is is 15. Wow. 
Wow. Yep. So we'll say hello for me. I, I liked him. I he's will. A good, good guy. Good guy. Yeah. And um, so he still works for ILM. Still owned by Lucas, right? He kept that part of the company. Yes. It was just the Lucas film he got rid of. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so and they go to ILM to get all this, the special effects done for the Mandalorian, which is yes. a beautiful looking show. If nobody's right. seen this right. program. Yes. On top of everything else, the baby Yoda is so I cute. know. I, I want to buy I the know Pokemon the freaking baby Yoda. Do you know do you, do you know yeah. that toy? See, they didn't come out with the toy. And the reason they didn't <laughs> was they didn't want to show their hand by putting into production the baby Yoda because they didn't want anybody to know the baby Yoda was on the show till the show premiered. And That's once right. it premiered, every kid, including this one in America, I wanted yeah. Wanted you a baby Yoda on Amazon for ten and, they yeah. did, and they didn't have any. So what they're Money doing this Christmas up. is you can buy the baby Yoda. Are you ready for this? Well, not exactly. You can buy a certificate saying you bought the baby Yoda, and when it comes out in May, you can pick up your baby Yoda. So. <laughs> well, that's well, what my son yeah. and I can get one probably now. Well, you could probably get the real Baby Yoda. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Put him in a bag, sneak him out. Yes, yeah, sneak yeah. him out. But the thing is that uh, uh, th th this happened with Star Wars years ago, where they didn't right. expect Star Wars to be a big hit, so they had no product out there when the film yeah. came out. Oh, uh, really? And so it became so popular, they had these certificates saying you can get your Han Solo. Oh, I remember that. I used to throw tantrums in Alexander's when they didn't have the figures I wanted. Oh, really? <laughs> my brother said, you were really a pimp. They don't have, they don't have my, his, uh, <laughs> yeah. land speeder. I went, my brother says, you would go crazy. He would laugh. I would blow a tantrum. Like, we had to get there early. Right? But if it were in the stores now, the Baby Yoda would be impossible to get. That's oh, how totally. popular oh, wait, oh, yeah. it would be. And I even loved it. I love the Baby Yoda. I mean, they portray him so wonderfully on the show because he's like, you know, he's uh, looks so innocent and cute, and yet in the last episode, he wound up choking somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see it. I'm holding back watching. Yeah, the tiny. But he's still cute and adorable. Like really but he good. can choke people just by going. <laughs> oh, he did the pause. And sometimes, the and pause. sometimes he does the paw thing, and nothing happens, and and he goes like this. Oh, that's Pete Jordan. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Screw you, I will. I We love the baby Yoda. Alex, if you could do the force Better than I be ever the... loved the old Yoda. You know, I love the baby Yoda. The, oh, yeah. I love, you know, my son and I were talking about the Yoda, the Muppet Yoda. And then remember when you, myself, and Michael Snyder went and saw the, the redo of the three and then he was CGI? I didn't like it. No, I like the Muppet one better. Same with the. I remember when we saw Return of the Jedi. Well, I remember there, there a is, lot of the older kids were like, "Oh, that's all Muppets." I liked it. Well, I thought it was thing, really yeah. good. There's a thing. Was, Jabba, 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 there, Jabba was a Muppet. There's a thing in yeah. films. Well, he wasn't a Muppet. He was a big giant thing. A big but, giant Muppet. Big giant Muppet. But what happened was, is that the reason why you liked the puppet Yoda was oh, because. He didn't look real. He, he looked like a puppet. So you had to do a thing they call suspending disbelief. You're, yes. And when you suspend physical. disbelief, it works pretty well. You know, but when you yeah, when you got him CGI'd, it's a little harder to suspend your disbelief because you yep. go, oh, that's Yoda, but he's CGI now. And before right. you actually had a a Muppet puppeteer in Frank Oz doing yeah, Yoda. I like that. So I got emotional when he died. I was like, oh, God, Yoda's dying. This is bad. Yeah. Yoda, like, Yoda but did. you did have an attachment to the character. Yeah, but yeah. He, he didn't die. Did he die in one? I thought he died in one of the films. Yeah, he, was died, he died, but at the end, he's oh, there with, you know, Luke oh, Skywalker's yeah. father and uh, uh, Obi-Wan and, yeah. uh, and, uh, Obi Kenobi, and, and they're all looking. Yeah, at, but you yeah, know, if you were like, I got oh, emotional. So so was like, you know, he's going to cry. In his yeah, yeah. so cheesy. <laughs> but the trouble was that when they redid the th first three, the, yeah. the the very end, when they're all dancing and singing with the Ewoks, uh, <laughs> what they did was when they showed the apparitions of these people, they instead of having uh, the guy who played Darth Vader, uh, uh, oh, uh, or, or played uh, actually, uh, what's his name? What, what's Darth Vader's real name? Uh, 
Anakin, Anakin Skywalker. Remember, there was yep. a guy who played him at the end because right. he t- took the thing off. They yeah. then put in the actor that was going to play Anakin Skywalker in his place. So, yep. But thank God they changed the stupid music at the end of that film. Oh, the yeah. end of that yeah, third it film. Was, ah, it was a, oh, it's just horrible. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just, it's just, just the worst. Uh, um, it, what pissed me off about that was that I What's went it? through two great films and I had to come to the third one and it was the last episode of the three and it fucking sucked. <laughs> you know? I mean, what were those Ewoks? Did did did, did Lucas yeah. say I didn't have enough toys last Christmas to sell? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I think I'll come up with teddy bears with lips. You know? I went with it. Yeah. I mean, you know was... what? I have an Ewok toothbrush that is my brother Eric's. Really? And I'm sure that thing's worth some bank. Yeah, about probably oh, yeah, $3 instead of the $2 in the you box, paid for. Don't forget it. You got to put MIB, mint in box. They'll go crazy yep, over it. MIB. <laughs> yeah, but you, can, you, know, but... you know the worst documentary Alex ever took me to, and I was just wrecked, it was the one about Louis Prima. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh my God! Remember, we went to San Rafael and we saw it, and I was like, "Oh my God!" He w- was in a coma for how many years, and then he died, and I was so pissed. <laughs> wow, wow! So I know we, for some people who are watching us, we got disconnected uh, from the uh, the stream, uh, but it's working now. So. Uh, oh shit. No, we were disconnected. I think for just a couple of months. I don't know what happened. It could be that you know they, the, 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 you know, but if you had any problem watching it, it'll look just fine, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on the replay that we put up on YouTube. Okay, because that's being recorded separately. All right, but I have no idea what that was about. Every every night, it's something else. You know, it's just it's something else. Something. It's always something. Yeah. But anyway, so I, uh, 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 for some reason it uh, it died, but it's now it's fine. It's doing Tex- fine. Technology it makes everything interesting, or frustrating, or does it? You know, yeah. Uh, but anyway, so we're we're back up again for those people who are watching the video, uh, and we didn't lose anybody, so apparently they didn't know we were off. So. Nope. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so that, that's what's happening with Baby Yoda and with toys for this Christmas. And uh, I don't know. What's the biggest toy this Christmas? Anything? I'm not sure. By, the, by, the, way, of... by the way, be sure to tell her, her brother had that Ewok toothbrush, right? Mm-hmm. But did he wash well, his... Well, no, I have it. Don't tell him what? I have it. He doesn't know I have did it. He, did he wash his teeth with it? I don't know. <laughs> well, if he did, how much is it worth, Tony? Well, if it's out of the box, forget it. <laughs> you gotta have that in the box still. You can't you? Can't, you can't t- once it's out of the box. I and don't in know. the shrink wrap would well, be no, even. People better. on eBay are stupid, and my motto is, if you're willing to buy it, I am more than happy. Just throw it in. I mean, if it's out of the box, you know what I do? Just throw it in the dishwasher. It's you from 1970 can... something. Oh wow! They'll buy yeah, but the Star Wars fans are fanatics. I mean, yeah, not... there's. Freaking psychotic. Really? I mean, yeah, they I mean they get dressed up. I mean, I know the Star Trekers do that, but I know that holiday, that holiday video uh show I watched it once. Every time I go to the Comic Cons, they this guy, one guy is always selling the holiday special. He gets twenty a pop and he can bring like five cassettes that he just dubs. The Star and Wars gone the in like Star a couple Wars hours. holiday special. Like hundred bucks. You mean the worst special of all time? Outside, yeah. of, yep. uh, outside of Alex Bennett wired again. The worst special of all time. <laughs> <It> was <bad. laughs> and wasn't Harrison Ford on that or no? Was he on it? On Alex Bennett wired again? No. 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 I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the Star Wars, I know the toys are a lot of money. I never got into it. My mom threw my toys out, but I never had anything in a box because I was like nine. So I used to just throw a tantrum. My brother said I was funny in the store because he says, oh, they don't have it. I was like, well, they, we got to take him to McDonald's and to make him happy. The Star there. Wars <laughs> the holiday home. special My was... brother has a Harrison Ford vest, the Han Solo vest, that's oh. from, I don't know, 1970-something or 1980-something. Really? 
Cha-ching! Yeah. Yep. Oh, absolutely. A lot absolutely. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, it, it was a... Um, uh, uh, th- th- it, what those those things all are only and you, you you'll agree with me on this because you're into this uh, Tony. Uh, yeah. Those things are only as valuable as the people who want them. You know. It, it is true. Shaky said that too because you can have something, but it all depends what somebody. I hate to use the word, but what somebody would want to pay for it and what you want to part with it. Yeah. Yeah. You know how you know, many there are. You know, Huh? And oh, how- there's a oh. lot of stupid people out there. Well, Believe well, you me. Uh, 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 Phil, uh, what you're saying uh, is how many people? What did you say? No, how many items there are? If there's a million of those oh. cracker jack things out there, no, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, how many people well, well, want it? You there's know what it throws plentiful throws supply. It up hmm? is when it's how it's it's actually the condition. Yeah. Meaning, yeah. like if they have stuff in boxes. Mm-hmm. Then you, you, you actually, as crazy as it sounds, you know what they're doing now, Alex? There's actually a grading company now that's actually taking the stuff that's in a box and they're putting it in hard plastic, like grading a comic book or a card, mm-hmm. and then it's like an auction house. And then they're giving it to auction houses, and that's where you get the big money. Because when you go to an auction house and go into a catalog, now they're going to sell it to people who have money. So if you have something you want to sell, I wouldn't sell it on eBay. If you want to get like ten grand or more, you gotta to go to Heritage or something like that, where they can, where they have the people who have deep pockets. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll send out their catalogs to people across the country or overseas. And if you put, if you sell it on eBay, uh, whatever the highest bid is, you gotta sell the goddamn thing. You can't, yeah, you so can't, you really have to protect yourself. You have to put a reserve in, I guess. You gotta put a reserve. Oh, yeah, but- I mean, listen, there's more people that buy stuff on eBay. Yeah. And you know, you don't have to pay the middleman. No, you'll just lose a get phenomenal the amount of money like you do with these heritage houses. But the only thing bad, Kathleen, that I would say is if you're going to sell something for a lot of money, eBay gets 10 percent, Alex. But then you have to make sure that you with that kind of volume of an exchange, say, say 15 grand, you have to make sure you collect the money because it could be, you know, they get the product. You don't sometimes you, you, you might yeah. not want to have to do a cash exchange of like fifteen thousand or more. You don't. Sell, I had you. What were you gonna? Say? Well, hold on a second, Phil. You you, uh, you you don't sell your stuff on eBay, right? Who me? Yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, I sell my low end stuff on oh, eBay okay. under a thousand. What were you gonna I'll say, say Phil? Uh, I sold. They eBay under changed. A say eBay, under two thousand. I wouldn't eBay do changed. Now. The way they do business used to be uh, somebody paid you, you got the money, and then you ship the thing. Now you got to ship the thing, mm. and uh, they may say, "Hey, what you shipped me wasn't uh, didn't meet my criteria," and they ship you back a rock in the box, and uh, you don't get your money. I sold a D4 Nikon camera. Knew this thing was six grand. Wow. I sold it for twenty five hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. And and uh, the guy never paid, but it go. never shipped. I guess I don't know why he bought it, and he wouldn't answer anything. Just uh, so I still got the camera, and I said, "Fuck it, I'll keep it." You know. Yeah. And uh, and so Wait. now it's worth fourteen hundred dollars. Yeah, but you know what it is too. It's like you said. Sometimes, like, would you really like say if you had an item and it was worth say five thousand? That's a lot to co- like. I wouldn't mind giving that to a house to say, "Hey, listen," or a store say, "Hey, listen. If I s- I'll take four thousand for it, you take your eight percent and just tell me, and I'll oh, okay." I'd rather do it like that, where I don't have to worry about, "Oh, did he pay me?" And I have to worry about him accepting the boxes. I would do it signature and stuff like that. It's a little more involved in the I trans- haven't sold. I haven't sold much on eBay lately. I I got rid of two pieces of crap that you know I would have thrown away, yeah. and uh, I just sold them. Hey, listen, there's our theme song, our, our lovable theme song. Uh, oh. And uh, I thank, uh, first of all, I want to thank Ronnie for being with us tonight. And I want to thank Kathleen for being with us and Charlie for being with us and for Phil being with us. And Tom, it's always great to see you. Love to see you more often. Are you awake, hey. Tom? Oh, he's got the shirt. I like the shirt. He's <laughs> uh, um, uh, 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 <laughs> Jeff, thank you. Uh, thank you to uh, Tony and thank you to Kevin. Uh, why don't you guys all give a big wave goodbye and I will wave back at you, okay? And say goodbye. Bye bye. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, sorry if we, we had a lot of sync here. We had uh, we for some reason the the video went out um, uh, on the, the internet. I don't know. Anyway, fa fa fact of the matter is we got through the show, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, you know we'll come back again at you again uh, tomorrow night, right after uh, Damian Chaplin does the exchange. We'll be back here at 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.